Hi everybody, welcome back to Drunk Bull Ranch, I'm Reed. Take those off. Uh, today, we have a few projects we gotta get done. Uh, the first is that I have to clean up this menagerie. Um, reason being is that it is March 4th and uh, on see March 15th we are supposed to be getting a shipment of broiler chickens uh, we ordered 50 of them and so I have to have an area for those chickens to uh, be out of the weather and whatnot so I've got to set up some some uh, I guess we'll call them pens or containers to keep the uh, broilers in and I'm gonna do it out here in the shed so we can control the temperature things like that and keep them out of the weather. Anyway, so that's what we're gonna do here in the next few minutes, and uh, so I'll show you what I do, and we'll continue on from there. Okay, so this is a sidetrack. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but as you can see, we still have a lot of snow, and it's cold, and one of the things that I have to check on all the time is right over here um, this guy our propane tank and I haven't checked it for a while but if we run out of propane we don't have any hot water and we don't have any heat so I like to check this once in a while and yeah looks like we're down to about 40 percent uh, we call them at about 30 percent and have them come refill it so that'll probably have to happen soon I'm gonna say that I hate being on propane. It is one thing that just annoys the crap out of me because every time they come to fill it, it's pretty dang expensive. So, yeah, that just kind of sucks. But it's a necessary evil. Anyway, uh, the other thing that I should tell you guys is I've mentioned the broiler chickens, but uh, also we are expecting about 14 oh Susie wants to get out about 14 piglets in the next six to oh, what five to six weeks anyway and so we've got to get pen set up for them and yeah it's gonna be fun because the snow has a method but let's let like we put Susie in this little pen every night. That is a heated doghouse, by the way, just so everybody's aware. Because uh, if I don't, and she likes to run off and go chase the neighbor's ducks and chickens and stuff like that. Huh, Susie? Huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Give you some scratches. There you go. Okay, come on. Anyway, so. Ah, tripping on snow. Uh, so, what we're going to do is uh, realign the pig pens. Um, <laughs> neighbor's dog is visiting us. Like I said, if we don't pen her up, she runs off with that one. Um, we're, we're gonna redo the pig pens, make this a little bit better. Now, as you can see, the pig's in the pen here. I've decided that this is a lousy spot because the snow melts and you get all the water runs right into the pig pen which is kind of annoying so what I'm gonna do is we're actually gonna move all this crap over here uh, the old bell wagon those snowmobiles that they, they were here when we got the place I gotta get rid of them and then we got the water trough and all this crap over here. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build, I think three, maybe four pens right here in this area, because the water spigot's right there. And if I put the pens right here, it's on a high spot. Hopefully it'll stay drier for them. And uh, then I'll probably build that up over there and build a barn. Anyway, 
so that's kind of what's going on out here right now uh, as you can see I got a lot to do so but I will update you as we get it done and then let you see it show you how we're gonna build them I'm gonna say with pig pens they gotta be pretty tough uh, you definitely want to make sure they can't get out because they are a pain to catch anyway um, yeah so I'll get started and uh, get some of this done and show you what I get done okay so uh, getting back to this I'm actually doing the chickens now <laughs> but uh, what I've done is I've got a couple of these big boxes that I get the pig feed in and I brought them in here in the shed and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some cardboard in the bottom and whoa don't fall over camera I'm gonna put some cardboard in the bottom and then we'll put some wood chips in there uh, put a couple of heat lamps and I'm gonna cover it with either some more cardboard or uh, like some styrofoam or something like that so that it'll hold the heat in and that way they should be good uh, again oh hang on that's real yeah and I chose this spot in the shed it is blocking the door the main door but because I've got electrical there and I have electrical here so that I can plug in the lamps to keep them warm uh, I'll show you this when I get it all done but that's what I'm doing at the moment okay everybody welcome back uh, let me show you this let me get this camera out of here okay so there we go I uh, got them set up so that when the chickens get here we can fill the feeders fill the waters and then we should be in good shape I did find out that I got one bad light so I gotta replace that but this should work uh, I'm gonna tell you about this block of wood right here I find that if I put a about an inch and a half two inch block of wood in there and put the water on top of that I get less crud in the water and I've got another one right there so also if you're gonna use these waters we usually will put like marbles and stuff in here just to keep the chickens from getting too far in there. They can still drink, but they can't get in it. Um, I'm gonna say that I'm not necessarily a fan of these feeders, but they work. And there's the other feeder. I think I would prefer the longer ones, but I'm using what I got. Anyway, uh, so yeah. That's about it. And then with the heat lamps, I can hang them from the rafters up here and adjust them up and down accordingly. Right now I've just got them clipped to the side, but then I will also, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, cover this with some, some cardboard or something just to hold the heat in and they should be good. So there you go. Uh, now we're just waiting on chickens. And once again, as always, have yourself a wonderful day and uh, support your local farmers.